unlike many diseases where there's, there's newborn screening, there isn't for our disease. There isn't a biomarker for it. Uh, but basically, when it's discovered that a baby has low blood sugar or hypoglycemia, you know, just detecting, first of all, hypoglycemia, that's the beginning of the diagnostic journey, and then taking insulin levels. And then there's a test, um, whether or not the baby responds to glucagon. If, if a glucagon injection will raise blood sugar, that indicates congenital hyperinsulinism. There's also genetic testing for congenital hyperinsulinism. It's a monogenic disease, but there are many different genes that cause it. So it's, a cl it's really a cluster of different disorders that all cause this severe hypoglycemia from the overproduction of insulin, but for different reasons. Um, in about 50% of the cases, there is no known genetic cause, and we're not sure you know, what the reason for that is, um, whether or not there need, in some cases, there definitely needs to be more drug discovery, and then we don't know the other reasons for the disease. So the research is great. We're very, very lucky. Um, there has been interest in this condition for uh, decades. There are some researchers who have spent their lives, dedicated their lives to doing research on this disease. And there's a group, there's an international group of uh, clinicians and researchers with a great interest in this disease. So, you know, some of them have really have had big grants. They've had NIH grants to study the disease. So there's a lot of laboratory work. Um, recently, there's a lot of interest from biotechs. And so there are a number of companies in clinical trials and some in, pre -clinic, in the preclinical phase. We're really hoping that our HI Global Registry will be a very good source for these researchers and for the companies.